So I now uh, want to get into the biggest, probably the biggest moment in hip hop Twitter history. One of those moments where I feel like everyone was like, oh, like he's online and he sees things. Kendrick Lamar, or I don't even know what spurs you to tweet, Kendrick Lamar is officially retired because that man waited five years to drop an album. And he actually uses, instead of doing a rollout, which is a totally separate discussion, yeah. he uses your tweet with a link to a website. You break it down. What? Where were you? What was your reaction to that? It's insane. So I was a I was a freshman. It was my freshman year of college, um, and I was in my dorm room with my girlfriend and my roommate, and we were just chilling. Um, and you know, I was just I was on Twitter, but I was I didn't really look at like my notifications or whatever, and I was just in DMs, um, and someone DM me like multiple people actually DM me, and they're like, "Yo, like what the fuck." And I was like, what are you talking about? Um, and then I checked my notifications. It's going fucking berserk. Like, everyone's tagging me. Like, people are responding to me. Like, what the hell? I checked what happened. Um, and I had, like, a moment of silence in my head. Uh, and then, like, I just, like, like put my phone down. I looked up. And I exclaimed so loudly, yo, Kendrick Lamar <laughs> just fucking, you know, quoted me, whatever. Um, and then... You know, I was obviously locked on my phone trying to figure out what's going yeah. on. Um, like, my followers were skyrocketing. Um, like, shit, everything was going crazy, bro. It was the wildest, like... <laughs> especially those first, like, three hours, it was insane. Because, um, like, before it happened, I had, like, 50,000 followers. Um, like, and after the first day, I was at, like, 80,000. That's and insane. Then, and then, like, ever since that, it just kept going up. Um, so did you instantly I mean, yeah. understand? Did you instantly understand that he was rolling out the album with your tweet? Like, when did that? No, <laughs> no, not even, bro. Bro, actually, that's funny as hell because I just saw the link. So at first, I was tweaking that Kendrick Lamar has quoted me with some shit. Yeah. And yeah. then <laughs> I checked to see other people are tweeting. Oh, Kendrick Lamar announces a uh, new album. I'm like the fuck are you talking about what do you mean he announced a new album i look and it's like oh and everything clicked because i actually clicked on the yeah. link i didn't even i didn't even click on the link at first because i was so flustered um and then i saw and then i freaked out even more i'm like you know this is what I, this is what everyone's been waiting for yeah uh but yeah that that was like insane because i found that out like five minutes later <laughs> It's such a crazy story, especially because Kendrick was quoted in an article saying how he saw the tweet. Was it like months before or weeks before? How how much before um, was it? I was told that it was like around the Super Bowl time. So it was like two months, three months before. And he just he just bookmarked that shit. He's like, yeah, I'm, co I'm coming back with, with this SK tweet. <laughs> yeah. Um, what Dave Free told me was that he was initially going to just post the link itself. Um, just like, you know yeah typical like announcing it and then yeah i mean like he thought the tweet he thought my tweet was funny or whatever and then he saved it and then you know he actually used it which is insane yeah um i mean you spark yeah. this thought in every single person in hip-hop twitter's mind now that the artists they're tweeting about might actually see that comment it's kind of like they, they, how j they cole we are it's like how Cole last year or two year, last year um rapped on a j cole type beat from a producer mm -hmm. who like i yeah. subscribed to on youtube and for that, for like the YouTube, tw the YouTube beat community was like, oh uh -huh. shit, J. Cole actually looks at our J. Cole type beats. Like that's insane. <laughs> yeah, so, dude, it's really crazy, man. I mean, even a recent example, like yesterday or whatever, um, my boy Jaw Talks Music, shout out to him. Yeah. Ka shout like Johnny's the only, he's the only person. Kanye yeah, the only one person he follows. <laughs> yeah, like, like that it's just random scary. shit like that. Yeah, it's like, that, why? That's insane. <laughs> like, yeah, why? But yeah. I mean, uh, like, good for him, man. Happy for him. But um, like, the shit like that is just crazy, bro. Like, you never yeah. know who's gonna look. A lot of people use Twitter, like, and if they're not engaging with it, I mean, they're probably gonna see shit that's about them. Yeah. You know, maybe not everything, but you never know, and that's really crazy. Yeah, it's a very classic Kendrick mysterious artist type uh type rollout. <laughs> yeah. But then so it was you. You went to the Big Steppers tour, which is behind me on this poster right here, yeah, yeah. and you got connected with Dave Free, and then mm -hmm. maybe the second most legendary tweet, they don't, they don't know you, big bro. You, <laughs> baby Keem Kendrick, they don't know their, you, little bro. their faces looking, 
their face is looking a little a little blurry, a little suspicious, but we know it's a real yep. picture. Yep. But, uh, <laughs> tell me, <laughs> tell me, uh, tell me about the link. Tell me about the link up. Okay. Um, there's actually like funny context to this because I was in India that whole summer, and the whole time I was stupid worried about. Um, you know, missing the show, and yeah, I I wasn't going to the show, like through Dave or anyone. I was going through like an opportunity I got from another partnership I did. Mm-hmm. Um, so like I had like no intention of that or anything. Like I did mention to Dave like a while before that I was gonna be there. Yeah, but yeah, um, but yeah, I was in India and then I landed in Boston. What was it? 30 minutes before the show started. And it was just me and my mom. So uh, my friend came and picked me up from the airport. My mom got in an Uber to go back home with all our, all our shit. And then um, me and my boy went to the show. It was awesome. We got there like right as Tana was getting on. Um, super sick. Mm-hmm. Loved it. I loved every second of it. Um, but after the show ended, I went into the bathroom, you know, before we were about to leave. And then uh, Dave DM me, and he was like, "Yo, you here?" I'm like, uh, "Yeah, I'm here. Uh, what's <laughs> up?" And then um, he asked for my number, and then uh, one of his assistants came out, and then uh, got me, and then took me backstage. Um, and then I met Dave, and then we chopped it up for a little bit. Um, he he went to introduce me to Tana, and I got to say what's up. We talked for a bit. It was cool. Um, and then, and then, like, he, Dave, like, Dave mentioned briefly about, like, me potentially meeting Keem or something. He's like, he yeah. said something like, oh, let me, let me see if, like, Keem's still here or whatever. Something like that. And I was like, yo, what do you mean by that? So I was, <laughs> you know, I was just there. I was stupid confused. I'm like, what is going on? What is my life? I just got back from, like, 24 hours plus of traveling. I haven't even been home yet. I feel like, like I'm at a point of like deliriousness there. Yeah. Cause like I'm stupid tired as we're going to the show, the show ignites this new energy in me. And then now I'm here backstage with Dave Free. I'm like losing it. But so yeah, I'm just like, I'm just like following him around. And then he's like, wait here. Let me, uh, like I'm gonna go like do something real quick. And I was just waiting out in like, like the hallway, whatever. Like, five minutes, five, ten minutes later, he, or, and, like, while I'm waiting, I'm, like, texting my friends. I'm, like, yo, bro, like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm here right yeah. now. Um, he said I might meet Keem, like, what the fuck? So I was just, like, you know, I was just chilling. He pokes his head out the door, and he was, like, yo, come in. So I walk in, and at first, I didn't even, I don't see Kendrick, because um, he's, like, on the couch with his, like, with his legs up and he's on his phone. So he's like, <laughs> his like face is blocked. Like I, I just, I saw someone yeah. there. I just didn't know who it was. Um, but like I see Keem. So I go to like introduce myself. Like I'm like about to go dap him up. And then Kendrick actually stands up and he introduces himself or like, he doesn't need to introduce himself, but he's like. But what, he is, what does he me. say? He greets me. He, does he say like, like I'm up? Kendrick? Okay. Nah, he just said like, what's up bro? <laughs> and then he, he dap me up. Um, and then I introduced myself to like him and uh, Keem. But like, yeah. it was crazy because I didn't even know Kendrick was there. And then he just popped up and he was like, yo, what's up? I'm like. Does your like I'm stomach like, drop? What type of reaction are we getting here? My, I, like, bro, I low key, I low key had to lock in really, like really bad because there was a, there was a moment where I was just like, dude, like what is going on right now? Yeah. And then I was just like, all right, I can save me reacting to whatever is going on to later, later but like I have to lock in right now because like yeah. you know I'm never going to get this opportunity again so like I kind of just like calmed down and I was chilling like I just like was being myself I wasn't like nervous or anything after like a, like, a th- like 30 seconds I mean, obviously I was nervous but yeah. you know like I played it cool um, and you know we we were we were chopping it up it was funny like Kendrick like, was showing me, like, a video on his phone of, like, like, you know how um, during the show, they had a part where, like, Kendrick came up while playing the piano. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it was a video like before when they're under the stage and it was Keem under the piano while Kendrick was sitting at the piano and then yeah. they were just like goofing around. It was hilarious, but like he's like show me that video on his phone. Like it was super c- cool and casual. Yeah. Um, it's funny to like yeah. know that side of it because the concert was so out of any rap concert I've ever seen, it was so down to a T. Like it was mm-hmm. very theatrical versus like a normal rap yeah. show. Like right. I remember when they did f- Family Ties, they didn't even like say hi to each like they didn't do anything to each other. They walked right by each other, like very like straight mm-hmm. lines. So they see they're goofing off. But what do yeah. you say to the great to the greatest rapper of all time? I mean, he like he asked me like, you know, like like where I'm from, like whatever. Um I told him like a little bit about myself, uh where I grew up, like what I do now, like that I'm a student. Yeah. Um and then it was like it it was cool cuz it didn't really have to be talking about like anyone in particular, you know? Like it got to a point where like we were just like throwing jokes back and forth. Like he yeah. was just saying some funny shit and it was, everyone was like dying laughing and then Kendrick would make like say some funny Kendrick's funny as fuck actually. Um he was cracking jokes. Like it was it wasn't like you know, one of those awkward conversations asking, like, icebreaker questions the whole time, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I, I appreciated. Um, I don't know. I, it just felt really... I just feel I just felt really welcome for, like, the 15 minutes I was there, you know? And um, I'd be like, yo, you made to pimp a butterfly. That's insane. <laughs> like, how did you yeah, do that? <laughs> I, honestly, I didn't even, like, let myself kind of fanboy out. I didn't really ask him much about, like, any music stuff or anything. I didn't mention any of that. Yeah. Because um, I was just... I was just trying not to, like... You know, you play it cool. I guess. Just it. like, yeah, I was not trying to like freak out because obviously he knows that like I'm nervous. Like he's, yeah, I'm sure he's aware enough to know that like how I'm feeling in that moment. But yeah, it was just like I don't want to like you know. I feel like that would be awkward for him in a little bit too because it's like they won't yeah, like I can themselves. geek, yeah, but it's yeah. just like yeah, because like to him like what he's done and whatever like I know he it's very special to him, but like. You know, like on an everyday basis, like he just did a show, like, like he he's, knows yeah. what he's done, bro. Like I can be like, yeah, yeah. oh, like you did, like oh, this is crazy that you did this, but he's like, he knows all that, like. Yeah. And I didn't, I, I didn't want to be awkward, bro. So I was yeah, just yeah. like, you know what? I'm just gonna like, kind of not lead this conversation, and it was cool because like, Keem, Kendrick, and Dave were like leading the conversations most of the time, and including me in them. And yeah. it, was, it was really like, you know, I felt really welcomed. Um, like everyone had like amazing energy. And it was just, it was just super crazy to me because it was just on some chill shit, wow. bro. Like, yeah. that's all it was. And with one of my favorite artists ever as a chilled, and that's like the craziest thing. <laughs> it's wild, man. My, yeah. one of my best friends was in New York City and saw a 6'4 man on a bicycle. And he looks, my friend's like a goofer. Like, he's just like always joking. He goes, I you look like J. Is. Cole. And Jermaine looks at my friend and he goes, nah. But my friend knows nah. J. Cole. He's like, he's like, eh? And he nah. pissed off J. He, he didn't even care. He like pissed off J. Cole. So now every time I'm in New York City, I just daydream that I'm going to see Cole and Eve like on a bicycle. <laughs> and I'm just going to like sprint after them and be like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, fucking love you. Yo, you made 2014 you like J. Cole, like, It's crazy. Crazy line. Oh, like if you see J. Yeah. Cole. So I'm curious because J. Cole is like apparently – a huge, huge guy. He's like six five. Yeah, but I, Kendrick's so. like Kendrick. I'm not sure how tall you are. Kendrick's I'm, a I smaller was, dude. I was, taller, I was taller than Kendrick. Yeah. So is that, like, I remember I met JID in high school, uh-huh. and I, he's like, "You always think these people is bigger than life." Like I'm like JID's yeah. one of my favorite artists ever. He's my yeah. hero, and I met yeah. him, and I was like seven inches taller than him. I was like, Damn. <laughs> how was tall that like you? a funny moment? I'm six six one six two. I can get away with Sheet. saying six two. I think. Okay. I'm like, but was that? I'm like a little under five. I'm a little under six, but yeah, I mean, it was. Okay. I, I didn't really was think much about it. I didn't really think much about it until later, and I was just like, huh. I didn't really like realize how short he was. But yeah, yeah. It was like it was whatever. Um, it's funny, like if you meet if you meet like, Nicki yeah. Minaj, she's five feet tall, and you might have like friends who are five feet tall, and you're like, Nicki Minaj she's actually five that like feet tall. Yeah, I think Kim she's Kardashian's tiny, also bro. five. I think Kim Kardashian's five one. And if you met these people, you'd, or Kanye, I think it's like five. Oh. Seven, I don't know why I know all these heights. I know all these heights at the top of my head. But 
it'd be crazy to meet like Kim Kardashian. You're like, whoa, you're a pretty short person. Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't even like register like how short. Um, yeah, all these people are. Lil Wayne, I think, is like man. five four. Yeah, these people scared Big Sean. I heard. <laughs> really? Big, I, I've heard Big Sean's very small, which is like people say <laughs> that. Like, yeah. 